I'm just going to go over a few things that I saw last week. Maybe I live in a bubble. Uh, I am a conspiracy theorist, but you have to have some basis of truth before you can believe them. Uh, I don't usually watch television, not technically. I mean, I watch Fortune and Fire alone. Uh, there's more shows than that. But anyway, there's about four or five shows I watch. But when I was in the hospital last week, cooped up for six days, it was opening. Commercial, commercial, commercial. News. And I'm not going to get political because everybody, it's the great thing about America. That's what makes us great. Everybody has their opinions, and including me. And so, you know, it's just not worth fussing over. Um, I watch some TV preachers that hills want to open up and swallow them when they get out of here. Um, sports everywhere, which I grew up on a farm. We worked. We didn't really have time for sports. Uh, we get to play cow pasture football or baseball. I had a hoop, a homemade hoop nailed to a tree. But that was an afterthought. You had back of the hole, hay to hole, gardens to till. So, we just didn't do that much sports. But, my goodness, it's commercials. Now, I've seen, I didn't realize this Black Lives Matter was that big. And I'm going to tell you, if you think black lives are the only lives that matter, you're a racist. Because all lives matter. I've seen some horrible murders where they, you know, men were shot by the men of power for no reason. None that I could see anyway. But all lives matter, folks. I can't have just a few lives matter. And I watched uh, and read the big COVID, COVID, whatever they call it now. I read that debate. And at first I really wondered, and I still wonder about the numbers. But it's real, folks. My oldest daughter had it. And it took her over a month to get over it. And during that time, she told me, she said, Daddy, I don't, you know, she's 41. She said, Daddy, I, she said, I, you know, if this was you or a child, I really don't say you'd live through this stuff. So it's got to be bad because she's pretty tough. I hear, you know, I, heard, I read people, you know, oh, it's a, it's a fake disease. I don't know if the numbers are inflated, but it ain't fake. You know, people are suffering, people are dying, and people are terrified. I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow if I can walk in there. I'm not sure. I'll have my oxygen with me, but that may not be enough. But I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow, and uh, I finally got me a little mask that will work. Ha ha! It's camouflaged. I know everybody gives me a hard time, but. Uh, I didn't wear a mask for a long time. And then I started seeing the numbers go ridiculous. I started wearing a mask. Uh, stuff ain't nothing to mess with. But Lord, the stuff I seen. 
people fussing and fighting and carrying on. I watched TV a lot when I was a kid. Kept up on what I thought was the current news, which, again, is usually not. I like what Fox tickles me. They say, we report, you decide. Now, they've already given you their opinion. So, and they're all like that. CNN, Fox, MSNBC, ABC, CBS. It's just all a crock of bull. And you really don't know which ends up. If you go to conspiracy sites, I'm sure there's some good ones out there now. And I haven't been to one in years. And uh, we were good. We had to have facts and data. But... Not so much nowadays, I don't think. People don't have the common sense, horse sense, that they used to have. You know, they're, they're thinking America would be better off a socialistic country. And that's one step away from communistic, which is one step away from feudal. Or, you know, you got a main guy over you like Hitler was a good example. Mussolini was a good example. Do we really want that? No. That said, uh, I don't know. I don't see how the world can keep going too far, uh, too much longer. I mean, I, 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 everybody, when it would come a bad, bad weather, they'd say, oh, the end's near, oh, the end's near. Yeah, it was just bad weather, folks. It wasn't. Yeah, there'd be earthquakes and stuff in different places, but for the most part, it's just bad weather. There was a few key points that were never mentioned that I ever heard. And as I began to study this, then it made sense. It would have been as in the days of Noah. Okay, so how was the days of Noah? Well, they had supernatural things going on, uh, beings. But that's, you know, that's probably always been. But they, uh, there was a few things that nobody thought about. Everybody was busy looking at the weather, looking at the disasters, looking at the way people are. One was they all spoke the same language at the Tower of Babel. And that's the reason why it was struck down. You know, because they were now in power. They could do stuff. They could do whatever they dreamed that they could do. Never again would we speak the same language and be able to understand each other. At least not until now. Now we have a computer. We have computers that will interpret everything we say. That's one more mile marker, but that's not the main mile marker. The other one is, you know, I heard people say, God was mean. He told him to kill everybody around. He did in some places. Some places he said, you know, only destroy this or only destroy that. Some places he did say, wipe it out. And why did he do that? Well, because things had been altered. They had changed, genetically changed, uh, genet genetically DNA, however you want to say it, spliced it, and which we do have CRISPR technology now that will do that. But they changed not only people and themselves, they changed the animals, they changed the bugs, they changed the plants. It was all bastardized. I mean, they corrupted everything. You know, the people were now corrupted. And all but, you know, just a few. But, and if you wonder, well, we're not that far along. Look at Molly the sheep. She's the one we know about. There's cows over somewhere in England that milk can give blood. There's goats that give that their milk is as strong as a spider web. 
Those are the ones we know about. I bought a book, Lab 257, and uh, it's a true story of a guy researched it for years and years. Were under the Nazi, under the paper, Project Paperclip, they brought all these Nazi scientists in. I thought they only went to NASA. They didn't. They put them in different fields. And one of them went to Plum Island. From Plum Island has come Lyme disease. It's come West Nile virus. There was a duck disease that come out. Uh, hoof and mouth. Uh, there's, I mean, it's amazing. You go see this list of diseases that I didn't even realize. Newcastle, Marix, those two diseases that affected chickens. You know, it's not the bird flu that kills them. It's just nastiness through Marix and the other one. But, and that's what he done for Hitler. Hitler wanted him to weaponize the bugs. So, they're, they've been corrupted. You got the Montauk monster. There's not one like they like for you harp on. There's been two or three plus other creatures even weirder wash up on the beach in Montauk. And that's across from Plum Island. Um, you got salmon. And they're, they were given a patent on life. You weren't supposed to have one. But they bopped their way into it. And these salmon, they, the people's main thing that they're worried about is they're like twice the size of a normal salmon. And they're aggressive. And they're afraid that they'll kill out the regular salmon. And then Lastly, we have pharmacia. Well, a lot of times when you read the Bible, God's a face like the sun is the one that pointed this out. That when it talks about wizards and stuff, it's actually talking about pharmacia or pharmacy. There was a lot of drugs back then. And look around. They're back too trying to think if there was something else. We lack the Nephilim. And unlike some, I do not believe they'll come back as giants. They're a little bit smarter than that. I got them took out of the picture lifestyle. But, uh, and they're pretty good with genetics. So, they should be able to Splice in. By the way, if you take the chip, no matter which chip it is, there is a thing that it does alter your body. And it's an alteration that cannot be repaired. That's the whole deal of the mark of the beast. It's not, you took a mark, you did. Uh, or you took a mark, I can undo it. Like the showing, uh, uh, there was a Christian movie, supposedly a Christian. But anyway, uh, where they cut the mark out and they're fine, their they're chip. You can't do that. It's it's going to change your body permanently. And that's why you're not salvageable. salvageable. Um, anyway, there, there's so much. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, why did God create man? I said, what do you think? He was lonely. And I said, what's funny? He had a bunch of angels, sons of God. So he wasn't lonely. He created a bunch of animals. I know I'm not lonely when I'm around my animals. Nope. It says plainly in there that he looked down upon his creation, which was the earth, and was pleased and wanted somebody to tend it. Well, that's true. We've certainly screwed that up. But these preachers get out here and they make stuff up. And unless you're reading your Bible, you... I bought a book the other day, The Cloud Eaters. 
uh, Stephen Quayle and Tom Horn. I don't trust anybody anymore. They quote the Bible, I want to see it. I want to look it up, and I've got apps on my phone that I can do that. And they were spot on. Uh, unlike you know, some of the other, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, uh, it's a real good book. And I, I, you know, I agree with it. It's worth reading. Uh, Steve wrote the first part of it, and Tom wrote the last part. But it's definitely a good book. It's worth your time. Uh, it gives you a new perspective, and it also shows you some of the translations that were done wrong, and that's going by the Strong's Concordance. And you got to remember, the oldest was written in Paleo Hebrew or Block Hebrew, whatever you want to call it. I pissed Jews off both ways with that, but they know it's the same. It's it's a language that has never been. It's not been spoken in many many years, and so it's hard to translate it. It's hard to interpret it. But they're breaking it down little by little. But it wasn't written in Hebrew like we have now, just like the Old Aramaic of the New Testament is not Aramaic. Oddly enough, uh, Osama bin Laden was the last person that could actually speak Old Aramaic fluid. So anyway, just some stuff that I've noticed lately. Because I've had a lot of time on my, in the house, in the hospital, and I've got six months to a year left, it looks like. Hopefully, good Lord to see to it that maybe it don't last that long. Because I got stuff to do. So anyway, I hope y'all are well. Thought I'd just run off the mountain. I'm in the room by myself. See ya.